seems this monorail is controlled from somewhere else. Hi, Mom. Kate! What? Have you seen the time? Why are you phoning me in the middle of the night? Oh, sorry, Mom. I forgot about the time zones. Did I wake you? Um, well, of course you woke me up. I, I was sleeping deeply, too. I've simply got to get my beauty sleep. I've got an absolutely crazy day tomorrow. I'm sorry. It's just that it's real important and urgent. I haven't got a lot of time. Well, if it really can't wait till tomorrow, Munchkin... Come on, tell your mommy what's up. Uh, no way I'm calling Dan for you, if that's what you want. Mom, listen, please. I seem to remember you're seeing a Marovich or something like that at the moment. No, 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 no. Malkovich, Munchkin. Frank Malkovich. Yeah, right. So, but he's an opera singer, right? That's right. They say he had the finest voice of his time, my dear. Imagine that. That's just great. So then he must have known a famous singer called Helena Romansky. She's Russian, too. Please, if you can ask him if... Listen, honey, if it's stars you're after, Frank knows them all. I'll just wake him up and let him tell you himself. You mean he's... Frank, do you know this song, this woman named you? Oh, you do? Oh, Kate, listen, you're still there. Frank tells me he did hang out with a Romansky once, but it was platonic. You know those singers. She's a great soprano. Great. Does he know where she went? Does, does she still sing? Where does she live? One second, Munchkin. Do you know? Oh, oh. Frank says she was very ill and she withdrew from circulation. Really? Oh, what is... Oh, oh okay. Um, she went to rest in some spa somewhere. He thinks it was called Arlbad, but it was 15 years ago and he's not sure. And, well, honey... When Frank wakes up, he always takes a little bit of time to get going, you know. Thanks, Abundo Mom. And Frank, too. You're both fantastic. Love you both. And thanks again. Catch you later. Hello? Did I wake you up? I can't sleep at all. This whole business just keeps turning round and round in my head. What business, Dan? But Kate, that argument we had, have you forgotten? I really need to talk about that again. Oh, you know, I, I guess we were both a little high-strung, that's all. But don't sweat it, okay? Yeah, sure. Getting carried away never solves anything, does it? I must say I felt really dumb when I hung up. Really? Yeah, I left the door to my office open and I was convinced everybody around heard me. Ah. Uh, I'm so embarrassed, Dan. Please say I'm sorry to your colleagues from me. It doesn't matter, honey. Promise me that you will never put me in that state again. You're usually so delightful. I have the impression that this journey is putting more than distance between us. Well, it's true I'm living a whole load of new and amazing experiences. Okay, I see. And I still know Hans Warlberg? No. Keep me posted. You know how important you are to me. 
Hurry home, huh? I'll try. Big hug, Dan. Director? Ah, it is you, Miss Walker. Director, I think I know where Helena Romanski is. My God, you have found Helena? That is fantastic. From my research, Helena Romanski is living in Arlbad. Arlbad? Helena Romanski is in Arlbad. You know the town then? You know where it is? Of course. It was a famous spa resort. In its heyday, Arlbad welcomed all the big wigs of the regime. To be granted a stay there was a real honor. Today, the honor has gone, along with all the generals and colonels, all washed away with the sea. It sounds like a good place if you need to take it easy or convalesce. I think Madame Romanski would be happier here. I think she'll prefer the peace and quiet here. The perfect tranquility of our little town. How can I get to Arlbad? There is one way that you can. Here, in the city, there are no suitable vehicles left. But that drunk old fool living up there, he'll have something. What drunken old fool? You mean you're not alone? What's up there? You mean you haven't noticed the space compound on the plateau? There's still some pathetic old soldier guarding it. But he's more interested these days in reaching for another bottle than reaching for the stars. And you think this gentleman could have a vehicle for me? I haven't the slightest idea. If you catch him on a good day, then maybe. But good days for him are far and few between. I wish you luck. How do I get up to the space compound then? There is a monorail that leads up to the Cosmodrome. When you are inside, I will activate the automatic pilot. Okay, I'm going. Wish me luck. I am counting on you, Miss Walker. Hello? Kate! Oh, that you? How are you? Olivia! Great, just the right person. Look, have you heard of Helena Romanski? Uh, no. Is she some Russian fashion designer? <laughs> no, she's a singer. I'm going to be meeting her soon. I've just got to find a way of reaching Arlbad. Can you imagine how lucky I am? Not really. Well, what relations this singer got with the toy cocaine? You sure you know what you're up to, Kate? Uh, you sound really different, like you're changing or something. Look, it's like this. If I'm going to get to the end of my journey, I've got to link up this singer and the director of the Comcalsgrad Industrial City. Don't worry, I know exactly what I'm doing. Why did you say that I've changed? I don't know, just an impression. You sound more sure of yourself, like stronger, more confident. And that's a problem? There you go. Just takes one word and you're up on your high horse. I'm beginning to see Dan's point of view. It's getting harder and harder to back you up all the time. What does that mean? Well, it means that... I had a drink or two with Dan, because he wants to talk. He feels a bit lonely, you see? And what's he been telling you? Nothing. He just has the impression you're slipping away from him. He can't see where you're coming from anymore. Like, we went to the movies the other day, and he said that you would have loved the film, but I told him that... You mean you're dating my fiancé? No! No, not dating Kate, just propping him up while you're away. All in a good cause. I can keep an eye on him for you at the same time. What would I do without you? Oh, you're jealous. 
Well, that's a good sign. That means you want him. Now that he'll be pleased to hear. You seeing each other again soon? Tomorrow night. He invited me to dinner at the Goldberg. You don't mind, do you, Kate? No, no, no worries. Look, I've got to go, Olivia. Take care. Excuse me, sir, uh, sorry to disturb you, but you hoo can you hear me? Three, two, one, contact, and we have liftoff! Oh, holy mother, a dame, a, a pretty dame on the launch pad. Uh, please, no need to worry, sir, just do stay calm. I just want some information. Watch what you're doing, sweetheart. We ain't got no information, no strategies, no plans to tell anyone anywhere, anytime. <laughs> Military regulations, you dig it, babe? <laughs> My name's Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer from... I mean, I'm a bit lost. And I guess you know this place. Boris Charoff, at your service, madam. Can I offer you something from the bar? No, thank you. Tell me, how long have you been here? For as long as it took for you to come along, sweet pea. <laughs> Don't think I've been lonely. I got a bottle or two here. Keep me company. You're a soldier, aren't you? Ex-cosmonaut? Hey, honey, that's all in the past. Hell, let's talk about today. Let's have a drink. Now that's an order, soldier. I heard that maybe you could lend me a vehicle or something? A vehicle? <laughs> All our vehicles were picked up and shipped out to the borders years ago. General's orders. I say, let us raise our glass to this finest soldier this country's ever known, little lady. I don't mean to offend you, but I'm not in the mood for a drink right now. And you'll live to regret it to your dying day, sweetheart. To your health, while you have it. Does the name Hans Varlberg mean anything to you? Cars... Berg. Uh, of course I know that name. But sorry, it, it's been a long time since I've seen something like that around here. Varlberg. He's a person. I'm looking for him, and I think he might have come by here a few years ago. Well, in that case, let us raise our glasses to this brave man and his very good health. I came here by train. But I've got this mechanical problem. I had to leave the train down in the industrial zone. The director down there told me you were here. Ah, Borodin, that dumb traitor. I tell you, he's gone over to the enemy, over to the dark side. It's terrifying, the darkness. He eating out his brain. The <laughs> jerk. Mm, that's maybe going a bit far. He is a little eccentric, I'll grant you that. But when you live on your own, cut off from the world for so long, his brain's gone A-W-O-L, I tell you. There's no darkness in my brain. I've got a cure. See? My secret antidote. Go on, have some. It'll stop you getting a cold. I don't think I'm in a high-risk category, but thanks anyway. So many birds nesting around here. What attracts them all here like that? Ah, uh, dumb birds. But at least a bird don't get bored, does it? See? They can fly. Them birds, jeez, they can fly. Sounds like you're jealous of them. Well, maybe you're just right there. 
because sometimes I like to let Soyuz loose and watch him circle for hours on ends. The birds, they crap themselves when they see him coming. Don't stop him coming back, though. Soyuz? Soyuz, ma'am. A silver angel. A savior who cleans our cosmodrome of them dirty rats with dirty wings. I need to get to Arlbad, and quick. You go ahead, soldier. I'll stay here and keep you covered. I got the supplies here. Gotta keep an eye on them. Tricky job, too, you know. All these bottles. Uh, please, can you try and get a grip? I must absolutely find a way out of this industrial complex. Jeez, me too. I've really got to get out of this dump, but not before I've had a little drink. Here, yeah. get your pretty little lips around this. Vodka! Tell me what you think. Do you have a vehicle to lend me? I think I'd even test one of your rockets right now if I had to. Toast my rockets? Hey, pretty dame, I'll drink to that. Now, just a minute, we gotta need a special bottle for this special occasion. Something to blow you away. Three, two, one, contact, and we have liftoff! Okay, that's enough. What was that? Uh, did you say something? Are our female comrades revolting or what? <laughs> Uh-oh, trouble on its way. <laughs> Bottoms up! Power to the babushkas! I was going to... Forget it, it doesn't matter. He's too drunk to help anyone anyway. I am not drunk. I have drunk. A little. 